While the world is reeling under the effects of COVID-19, the Indian auto industry is suffering the casualties of another epidemic, BS6. With the stricter emission norms having come into force on the 1st of April, 2020, some models have been sent riding into the sunset. Here is a list of six more cars that have been killed off by the introduction of BS6 norms in India. First, we have the Ford EcoSport with the 1 liter EcoBoost engine. The EcoSport was one of the most awaited cars of the last decade. But what made it even more special was a particular engine, the 1 liter EcoBoost. The three cylinder turbocharged motor that produced 123 bhp was sure to put a smile on your face every time you drove it. After the 2017 update, the Echo Boost could only be had in the top end S variant, which buyers found too pricey. The low sales volumes forced Ford to discontinue this much appreciated engine. However, there are plans to replace it with a 1.2 liter turbo motor sourced from Mahindra, and it will arrive next year. Until then, it is goodbye to the Echo Boost. Next we have the Maruti Suzuki Bolino RS. Introduced in 2017, the RS was the sportier version of the Bolino. It came with a 1-liter, 3-cylinder turbo petrol motor that produced 102 bhp. The Bolino RS was Maruti's answer to the likes of the Volkswagen Polo GT. While the regular Bolino is one of the highest selling models in the country, the same could not be said about the RS due to its low fuel economy and high price tag. Also, Maruti found it difficult to make a case for small capacity engines in India which is a market where buyers associate them with low power. So it made no sense for Maruti to keep the Bolino RS around anymore and you will no longer find it for sale in an exit dealership. Up next, we have the Skoda Octavia. The first generation Octavia was the model that laid the foundation for Skoda's place in the Indian market. The Octavia name was replaced with the Lara a few years ago, but it returned in its third generation. The Octavia offers everything you would in a luxury car for the price, solid build quality, comfortable interiors, and a great driving experience. Now that the fourth generation model has been revealed internationally, Skoda has decided not to upgrade the current model to BS6, but launch the all new model directly. That will only happen in 2021 however, and until then the Octavia will not be sold in India except for the Octavia RS245 which will be sold in a limited run of 200 units. Leaving us next is the Tata Safari. The Safari was the first true SUV to be made by an Indian manufacturer. Launched nearly 20 years ago, it was the Indian equivalent of the Toyota Land Cruiser. It was associated with VIPs and managed to gather a cult following in the country. Sadly, it had become very outdated and with the arrival of new age models like the Nexon and Harrier, there was no room left for it in Tata's lineup. So with the arrival of the BS6 deadline, the Safari had to go. Next we say goodbye to the Fiat Linea. Fiat's first modern offering in India was launched in 2009. It had a typical Italian flair in its design, and a solid build quality as well. Where it suffered was low interior space and poor after sales service. With sales numbers down to double digits in the previous year, Fiat had no choice but to discontinue production. The same fate has been decided for the Grand Punto hatchback and The Aventura crossover as well. Unfortunately, this effectively means the end of the Fiat brand in India once and for all. And finally, we have the Renault Logi. Launched in 2015, it was positioned to take on the likes of the Maruti Ertiga and Toyota Innova in the MPV segment. However, it failed to make its mark. There was no petrol option in the Logi. It only came with a diesel engine the 1.5 liter K9K, which also used to be found in the duster. Renault made the decision to put that engine to sleep all together. That, combined with poor market response, meant that there was no way for the Logi to survive past the 31st of March 2020. So, there you have it. Another six victims of BS6. Which of these cars do you feel deserved a second chance in BS6, guys? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Drive safe.